Good morning. Thank you for joining us. We are glad that you could find time to be with with, with us this morning. I pray that uh, the Lord will minister to you. Let us pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you. We exalt your name and we bless you, dear Father. Thank you for waking us up this morning, dear Father. We are here, Lord, to hear from you. We open our hearts, dear Lord. Speak to us. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen. Turn with me in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, uh, verse 11 to 13. The word of God says, I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned, to, uh, I have learned the secret of being con content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Paul is telling us, uh, he's given us the circumstances that he's been, he's been uh, in a situation where he's had plenty and he's been in a situation where he's had none. And uh, all this, uh, he says that he has learned the secret of being content to a point where he says that I can do all things through him who gives me strength. And through him, it means uh, Christ. So he has learned how to lean on God. He has learned how to allow God to, to, to provide for him. He has learned how to allow God to lead him. And so from this verse, we are being encouraged that under all circumstances, whether during the good times, whether the sad moments, whether the happy moments, where, whether you are having plenty or you have none, the word of God is just telling us to be content in whatever circumstance and to rely on God. And so this morning, I want us to pray for two, two things. The first, one, uh, the first thing that we are going to pray for is that God to give us the spirit of contentment. And the second thing is that we are going to ask for the grace to rely in Christ alone. Because we, we, the word of God is telling us we should not rely on our own understanding. So let us trust God. Let us uh, not lean on our own understanding. Let us allow God to lead us. Let us allow God to to speak to us, let us uh, know that he's our father. And so that we, we can also say like Paul, that we can do all things through him who gives us the strength. Believe with me as we pray. Our father in heaven, we come before you this morning. We give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. We worship you and we bless you, dear father. God, I thank you for your word. I thank you that Lord, you are reminding us, Lord, to rely on you. You're reminding us to hold on to you. You're reminding us to lift up our eyes because that's where uh, to you because that's where our help comes from, dear Father. God, I pray, dear Father, just like Paul has said, he has known how to uh, to be in. I mean, to have plenty and and to lack, but in all circumstances, he has chosen to rely on you, dear Father. And so, God, this morning, Lord, we are calling on you. We are asking you, Lord, that you may give us the spirit of contentment, dear Lord, that in all circumstances, dear Father, we shall be content in you, dear Lord. We shall not seek other other ways. We shall not allow the enemy to manipulate us and, 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 and give us the, uh, ways that are not well, dear Father. But we shall hold on to you, Lord. We shall be content in any circumstance, dear Father. And God, that uh, our, our love for you, our faith in you will not be shaken in any circumstance. We shall not love you less, Lord, because we are lacking. We shall not... Uh, go astray because we have plenty and lean on our own understanding, Lord. Father, I pray that we shall not choose, dear Father, to walk away from your ways, but in all circumstances, dear Father, we shall have contentment. Dear Lord, we shall honor you, dear Father. We shall continue uplifting your name, dear Father, because God, you are still a good Father. You do not change, dear Lord, in any circumstance, dear Father. So we ask for the spirit of contentment upon our lives, dear Father. As your children, Lord, may we be content in all circumstances, dear Father. God, I also pray, dear Lord, that, Father, we shall choose to rely on you, dear Father, that you shall give us the strength, you shall give us the 
grace, dear Lord, to fully rely on you, dear Lord. Father, your word has said that we should not rely on our own understanding, dear Father. And I know, Lord, many are the times, Lord, we have relied on our own understanding. And so, God, this morning we ask for forgiveness. This morning we we ask that, Lord, you may help us, dear Father. May your grace abound, dear Father. Give us this the strength to rely on you fully no matter what the enemy brings our way we shall choose to lift up our eyes we shall choose lord to to be under your wings dear father and our faith shall not be shaken dear lord strengthen us dear father strengthen our faith lord I know, Lord, even in the hard times, it's it's difficult. And I know we question and, and many times we, we debate, Lord, and we wonder, Lord, if are you, are you still here with us or, or you've left us alone? But God, we know that you have said you will never leave us, neither will you forsake us, dear Father. So I pray, Lord, even in the hard times, dear Lord, we shall continue uh, calling on your name we shall continue holding on to you dear father no matter what dear father god even when we are in pl we have plenty lord i pray that lord we shall not forget you i pray that lord we shall not lean on our own understanding dear father but your grace will, will abound dear father and lord we shall look up to you dear lord we thank you and we bless the lord encourage us dear father uplift our spirits dear lord and this morning even as we go about our our daily duties, Lord, I pray that you shall you shall encourage us. I pray that, Lord, your, your presence will be with us, dear Father. I pray that your joy will be our strength, dear Lord. We bless your name and we honor you, God. If there is anyone, Lord, who, who has a need and they are waiting on you, Lord, remember them, dear Father. We, we speak your favor, we speak your grace, we speak your love upon your children, dear Lord. I thank you, Lord, for encouraging us. I pray this believing and trusting in your holy name. Amen and amen. May you have a beautiful day and remember in any circumstance, may you be content in the Lord and rely on him. Have a blessed day. Thank you.